how to make rice with pigeon peas. Okay, <clears throat> today we're going to make um, rice and pigeon peas. Um, we know it's as arroz con gandule, and this is one of the simple way to make it. And I'm going to show it how to make it in this recipe. The first thing you get a caldero, which is a aluminum pad, and then we're going to add some oil. And the oil, you can use whatever oil you like. Um, I'm using vegetable, vegetable oil, but you can use oil, uh, corn oil, or canola oil. So we're going to put a little bit in here, and then we're going to add two tablespoons of sofrito. I have my stove at medium high, and I have a video on how to make sofrito if you don't know how to make it. You can also can use the uh, frozen one. In here, I have uh, one small onion and I cut it in small pieces. We're gonna saute all this. And you also can make this with any kind of meat. You can use bacon, or you can use ham, you can use sausage. But this is one of the simple ways to make it, and I'm gonna show you. In another video, I'm gonna show you more, more uh, variety of the um, rices. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let this to saute for at least one minute or two. And today I'm making four cups and I'm using long grain. Now I'm using one can of tomato sauce. I'm using Goya, but you can use whatever brand brand name you like. I'm gonna add one can and my stove still in medium high. I have electric stove, so I put it in number nine. I also um, using two envelopes of Sazon Goya, and this one is con culantro y achote. Let's say con culantro y achote. I'm gonna add two envelopes. If you're doing two cups, and then you add one envelope and half of the um, can of the tomato sauce, okay? I'm gonna add some salad olive, and this is optional. If you don't like it, you don't have to add it. I'm gonna add two tablespoons or two of these little ones. But you can add whatever you like. The next step is I'm going to add one envelope of the um, ham flavor seasoning. I'm gonna put that in there. And I have one can of pigeon peas or gandules verdes. And I'm gonna, I just go drain the water and I put it in a separate bowl. And I put the water right here. Let me show you. I put it in this measurement cup because I'm going to make for a cup of long grain rice, and I'm going to add five cup of water, but I'm gonna be using those water, so I'm gonna just fill it up, okay? Okay, I have two cup of water in here. Two, four, and five. So in total, I add five cup of water, include the, um, the water from the uh, pigeon piece. Now I'm going to, Put my heat up and high. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. Just sprinkle some in there. And I'm also going to sprinkle some of the onion powder. I'm going to add some salt. Salt is to your taste. You can just sprinkle some and then you can Taste the water, and it's fine for you, that's fine. Um, I have four cup of rice, and I don't wash my rice, but if you wanna wash your rice, you can wash it and then drain it, okay? That's up to you. Now I'm gonna let my water boil, and then I'm gonna add the rice, and I'm gonna show you the next step. Okay, now my water is boiling. I'm going to add my rice.
when I stir it. Okay. Now, my remember, my stove is a uh, high. I'm going to put it in number eight, which is um, medium high. And then um, I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, now I'm going to do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape it from the bottom. Real good. I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to lower the heat in my stove. I'm going to put it in number three. And you have a um, gas stove. You're going to put it in medium low. And then you're going to leave it alone for 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, already passed 20 minutes. And then I'm going to check my rice. gonna taste that to see it is cooked. It's, it's supposed to be, be cooked already. Mm. Mm -mm. Good. Okay. If you like my video, don't forget to like my video. If you got any comment, you can leave a the comment below and I'm going to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you like my cooking videos thank you very much and until the next video bye bye